fun itsky do or captive collector however you want to call me whatever you want um today we are doing an unboxing of suzaku's pilot version figure he's by mega house and he is a gem figure just like the rest of the really popular code geass figures i got him from ami ami i actually didn't know that he was being released until he was already released and he was still available on ami ami and i had like a little bit extra money because i got my taxes back and i was like I think I'm gonna get him because he kind of completes my set sort of. I really want to see two figure eventually but we'll see when that happens. And yeah, me it came with this little note. They always kind of send you a little thank you paper. He's a part of a set with Lelouch's um, Code Geass Lelouch of the Resurrection series. So there's one other Lelouch that came with this year's because he's also from Lelouch of the Resurrection or whatever. So I will link that in the card and also in the description below if you want to see the videos for Lelouch's figure. Uh, but let's get on into opening him. I think those figures always come in like a second box. So we always get like this outer box with the figure box inside and then of course it's shipped in like a different box to be sent to you which I really love honestly because it just adds an extra layer of protection. Here we are with Suzaku's whole box here. This is what it looks like. He was such a last minute decision to purchase. Um, I wish I would have known about him prior because then I could have properly budgeted for him. This is him, Gem Series, Suzaku Kururugi in his pilot outfit, pilot suit pilot suit version. I'm very excited. The box has some gold foil on it for accents. Sorry, I'm dumb. It wasn't that resurrection was spelled incorrectly on Lelouch's figure. It was his name. It was like Leouch instead of Lelouch. The, I, the L was an I. It was weird. I don't know how that got past quality checking when somebody like, that is such a big mistake to misspell a character's name on the figure's base. Oh, he smells strong as figures do. There is a bit of a pattern inside the box, if you can kind of see there on the back panels. He seems really nice and simple, which I'm happy about because as much as I love really complicated figures, unboxing a nice simple figure is just so much quicker, <laughs> so much easier to film. I mean, I appreciate the like secure packaging but I always hurt myself taking them off. Woo! Okay, so finally got that off. It has some protective foam here to protect his little bits. Here is how he is packaged in the figure. We've got him up top and the base on the bottom here. It is spelled correctly this time, so that is grand. Um, it's really nice, actually. I like that it's a matte. Uh, it is a white, but not quite a pearly white. But because of the matte texture, it almost looks like it has a bit of like a pearl, a pearlesque shine sheen to it. If that makes sense. Saki Kururugi pilot version. Very nice. He's got some plastic on him. We've got some bubble wrap to protect his cape. You know what I'm noticing? His box and these things here have that, if you've seen my other videos, some of the figures that are coming out more recently have been having a kind of uh, grease in their figure box that sometimes gets on the figure. And it seems like I'm having the same issue with his figure. And I had the issue, I believe, with the other Lelouch figure as well. So yeah, I know it's not just a mega house thing, but it seems to be common with their figures getting that kind of grease in their boxes. This is him here. He is holding the Zero helmet in his hand. He's holding the Zero cape behind him. There was a few grease marks on him. I kind of wiped them off. There is some scrapes on his cape a little bit. There's something about his face that I can't quite put my finger on. I'm going to look at it more and when I show you a closer look of him, um, I'll go into more detail about it. But there's something that just looks really off. I think one of his eyeballs is higher than the other or something. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a moment. I'm going to set him on his base. 
at least he was nice and easy to get on his base. But I'll show you guys a closer look of him in a moment. Right here is what he looks like full body. There's something really off about his face and I'm not sure exactly what it is. I, well, I think I know what it is, but we'll take a closer look at it in a second. Oh, I'll quickly show you the base actually. So this is what the base looks like. A little hard to see that pearl um, quality I mentioned earlier because of the way the lighting is. But it's got the blue lighting. It says Lelouch of the Resurrection back there. Let's do a full spin. There is a few little marks on his cape, but nothing massive. Uh, there was that grease in the package again, which I don't understand what's going on with that. So let's get closer to his face here. There's something weird about it, in my opinion. Like, it doesn't look exactly how it looks in the photograph. And I think one of his eyeballs is wonky. And I don't know if I'm crazy or not. Or maybe it's just, like, the angle the photos are taken. Or something I mean it could just be me but does his face look a little wonky to you comment below let me know what you think maybe it's the the one eye on the left there looks a little high or something I'm not positive or maybe his face looks a little crooked like I don't know is his nose crooked am I crazy <laughs> I might be crazy who knows so here's how his outfit looks up close. We've got the details on his shoulder here. The white does have a little bit of a pearl look to it. Love my camera to focus. The buttons, his legs, here's his hand. In the glove, there is the Zero Helmet. Here are his boots. Make our way back up to this hand. That's how it looks holding the cape. And I can see some of the paint from the cape getting on his hand a little bit there. Here's what the cape looks like itself. It doesn't look bad. There's a few little marks there that you can see. I think the cape could have used a little more shading maybe. Here's his shoulders and his back and the red inside of the cape. We have the back of his head here, which is okay. Um, he looked, I don't know, nicer in the photos, which is fairly like common. Also, he got an ass on him though. <laughs> like that suit is tight. It is right up there. There's like even wrinkling on the fabric, like <laughs> on his ass. It was like an odd ass shot. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's the inside of the helmet you can see. Right, the lighting makes it hard because of the way his pose is. Part of him shades him from the light. But yeah, that's the inside of the helmet there. <laughs> Look at that ass. It's crazy. Sorry, I just keep giving you booty shots. Here's the back of his legs. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something that I felt was off about him when I picked him out of the box. Oh my god, my phone's trying to focus on the books behind him. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's because his face is kind of crooked or his nose is crooked or something. I don't know. I think it's that eyeball, but something just looks weird. I mean, it kind of looks like him from this angle from the photos and i guess most of the photos were done from that angle so maybe that's what's going on there's a little paint drop on his hair there that you can see but um 
I mean, yeah, it could just be the angles of the photos that make him look funny. I don't know. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of him. I'm still happy to have him. He was way more expensive than I wanted to spend on a figure of his size and pose personally. Um, but I am a little bit of a sucker when it comes to Code Geass stuff. Because I had the Zero uh, Lelouch of the Resurrection figure, I felt the need to get Suzaku's pilot suit version. That is my no self-control showing itself. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you would like. I have lots of videos like this. Again, Lelouch's figure is linked in the description below if you are interested. I will link all of my social media in the description below along with my affiliate links through CD Japan and Tokyo Taco Mode. If you purchase anything through those links, I get a small commission. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And again, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Uh, I hope to be posting more frequently as long as I can get some things in the mail again. Uh, shipping in Japan is very, very backed up right now and they don't even ship to Canada at the moment. So I have so many packages just waiting in Japan for me. Keep your eye out for those whenever Japan ships to Canada again, I guess we'll find out. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.